everybody. Hi, how are you? Miss Donna here today. And I'm excited because we're starting a new series. And this is called, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Let's go to Skittles and have him tell you all about it. But before we do that, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these boys and girls. I ask, Lord, that you would continue to guide them, protect them, and help them, Lord, to learn your ways. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. Help us to share you with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's What's listen. Up? What's 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 up? What's
leprosy. He was with leprosy, had rotting skin. Their ears and fingers and toes would eventually fall off. And the people that lived around them, they treated them terribly. They weren't even allowed to live in the same city. These same guys that were treated terribly by the people of the city did something totally crazy. I won't spoil the whole story, but the four lepers ended up saving the entire city. They saved the lives of the people that treated them like junk through the simple act of sharing. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. So what you're saying is that if I share my brownie with my sister, it will save her life? Not that kind of sharing. Well, this sharing is a lot more important than a brownie, silly willy gumdrop. I want you to pay close attention to what you're going to learn today. You can actually do the same thing these lepers did. You can actually save lives just by sharing. It sounds crazy, but it's true. I know lots, and I can't wait to share some crazy facts in the future. Like, did you know that dung beetles? That's enough of that. We'll see you next time on I Know It Sounds Crazy, but it's true. Oh, boys and girls, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true is exactly what we're learning about today. One of those stories that pretty much isn't shared much. And so Miss Donna's going to share it today. As Noah said, it's found in God's Word, the Bible, in 2 Kings chapter 7. And boys and girls, there we find the story of four lepers, L-E-P-E-R-S, not animal, but people. They were called lepers because they had a disease that called leprosy, and the leprosy would cause their skin, if they got a sore, it would cause it to get worse it would numb around it. They couldn't feel that they had a sore and then their body parts would start to fall off. I know it sounds awful, but it's true. That's exactly what happened. It was a terrible disease and it was contagious. And so the people of the city would make the lepers stay outside of the city. They couldn't live in the city. If you were found out to have leprosy, the people would, leper, leper, get away. And those lepers would have to go outside the city. Well, boys and girls, the people didn't treat the lepers very nice, did they? No, they didn't. They didn't even treat them like human beings. It was awful. Well, the particular city that these lepers were from was called Samaria. Now, Samaria was being attacked by a large army called the Armenians. Well, boys and girls, the Armenians had set up camp outside of Samaria and they blocked the road so no one could get by. And, oh, the people had no food. The people in Samaria had no food. The people Lepers had no food. Nope. The people were dying of starvation. And that's where the lepers come in. The lepers, as God's word tells us, the lepers said, Why should we sit here waiting to die? And if we go into Samaria, we will die of starvation. If we sit here, we will die of starvation. We ought to at least go and offer ourselves to the Armenian army. Maybe they will give us some food. If not, we're going to die anyways. Oh, boys and girls. So the lepers walked over to the camp of the Armenians. And when they got there... They got a huge surprise. The entire camp was empty. 
Yes, boys and girls, not one person was around. Better yet, they had left all the supplies behind. <laughs> the Bible, God's word tells us that God had made a large sound to frighten the Armenians. They thought they heard the sound of chariots and horses and a great army coming to attack them. So they freaked out and ran off, leaving the whole camp empty. Oh my goodness. Well, the lepers found the food and they ate and they ate and they ate. They went from tent to tent, gathering food, gold, and all kinds of great things. There was more food that could ever have hoped to have, that they could have ever hoped to have. And they had it all to themselves. Boys and girls, then one of the lepers spoke up and he said, we are not doing the right thing. Sorry, boys and girls. We're not doing the right thing. This is a day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves. Oh, boys and girls. This is the day that the lepers decided to do the right thing. And boys and girls, the Bible tells us that the lepers ran to the city and told all the people. They ran to the city and they told all the people what they had found. And the people came running out of the city. They went to the Armenian camp and had the biggest feast you could ever imagine. The lepers were able, with God's help, to save the people that had been so wrong to them. Well, boys and girls, today we're going to learn how we can put this story into our own lives as Christians. Oh, boys and girls. Boys and 
girls, that's a scripture verse that we need to memorize. In Mark chapter 16, verse 15, it says, Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone everywhere. That's what Jesus told us our job was to do, to go and preach and tell others. It doesn't mean you have to be a preacher. It just means that you have to tell other people that Jesus died and rose again for them, for their sin, for your sin, for my sin. Boys and girls, Mark 16, 15, that's what we're talking about today. Going out and telling others, sharing the good news. Don't keep it to yourself. You know, in our Bible lesson today, we learned about the lepers and how they really did do a good deed. At first they went and they ate all the food, but then boys and girls, they made a very important decision. They discovered something amazing, the food, and they thought, hmm, we're not doing the right thing here. We need to go share it with others because they knew the people in the city were dying and of starvation. So they did the right thing. They couldn't sit there and just keep it to themselves. They did the right thing by taking the good news of the food they had found to the starving people in the city. Boys and girls, they didn't have to. They could have kept it to themselves, but they chose to share that good news with others. Because they did that, many lives were saved. The lepers in this story remind me a lot of us. Boys and girls, we've been given some really good news. We have. It's called the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've accepted Jesus as our Savior. He's forgiven our sins, and we are going to heaven. Now, that's pretty good news, isn't it? That's the greatest single bit of news in the world today that the world has ever received. Boys and girls, that's the good news. The sad thing is the world is full of people who are starving. Not for food, but boys and girls for truth. They haven't heard the good news of God's love yet. We have a big choice to make. Boys and girls, will we keep the good news to ourselves? Or will, be, or will we be like the lepers and say, it's not right to keep this to ourselves. We can't just hear and receive. We must share. Boys and girls, we need to deliver. Have you ever been really, 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 really hungry? And... Then someone shows up with a nice hot pizza. Oh, boys and girls, it's amazing, isn't it? Well, that's what this is, a nice hot pizza. <laughs> it's amazing. You really appreciate that pizza delivery guy when he arrives, huh? Well, you and I are the delivery pizza. When it comes to the rest of the world, we need to deliver. What are we delivering? Well, not pizza, of course, but what we're delivering is Jesus. We need to deliver Jesus, boys and girls. We need to share the good news. Let's make a decision today to share the good news of Jesus with those that don't know. You know, there's a song, good news, good news, Christ died for me. Good news, good news, if I believe. Good news, good news, I'm saved eternally. That's wonderful, extra good news. Boys and girls, you can share the good news with those around you. Let's pray. God, help each one of these kids to be able to share the good news of you to those who don't know you. It's the truth, Lord, and it's the right thing to do. And Lord, 
Right now, we lift up Miss Naomi and we pray that you would touch her and heal her, Lord. Help her to feel better. We think of others that may not be feeling well and we pray that you would touch them as well. Lord, give us courage to do your work. In Jesus' name, amen. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. See you next week, boys and girls. Bye.